hi there in today's video i am going to show you how you can send and receive emails from your domain name okay for example keith at keithrains.me so this is my website as you can see it's keithrains.me so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can send and receive emails from your own domain name so that it looks professional and this is gmail i just sent myself an email from my custom domain name to my gmail so when you click over there you're going to see that the mail is actually coming from uh keith at keithrens.me this is my domain name this is where i'm sending the emails from so let's now get started with how you can do all this stuff so there are two ways on which you can use to send and receive emails using your domain name and the first one is is by creating and hosting your own email server on a vps and the second one is by using uh platforms like private email by Napchip, which is the easiest way okay and in today's video i'm going to use the cheapest most affordable and the most secure one and the better one of which is using a platform like private email by name chip okay so it's it's very much cheaper than the first one of course for this one you need some coding skills but in today's video I'm not going to focus on that so let's get started so all you need to do is search for private email this is the website i'll include the link in the description okay so private email is by name chip okay so all you need to do is click on try it free Okay, when you click on that, just wait for it to load, and this you're going to see the pricing and the features it comes with. So all you need to do is to scroll down, and you will see that the first package is at uh, zero point seven four per month. Okay, and the second one is two point twelve dollars, and the last one is three dollars per month. Okay, when you're starting out, uh, I encourage you to go with the first one, and you're going to pay. 8.91 dollars per year it's much it's very much cheaper because if you are to create your own mail server with a vps you're going to be as uh, paying about 10 dollars per month which is 120 dollars per year apart from that it's going to be consuming you time like in web maintenance and so on so all you need to do is click on get email as for me i'm not going to click on this because i already have one i'm not thinking of having one but it's actually easy so when you click on this You'll be asked if you have your own domain with name chip or you have an, with another platform just answer according to what uh, you think is right so when you're done with all that just go on uh, log in to your, to your name chip account and all you need to do is to come and click where it's written private email okay and this is where you're going to see the private email packages you've bought on the product list in the name chip account so as you can see uh mine will be expiring in 2022 on february 9 okay so all you need to do is to click on manage over here okay wait for it it loads okay so this is the private email so you can um if you'd like to change your password or create a new mailbox all you need to do is click on buy mailbox or by clicking here you can change the alliance you can change the password you can turn off you can remove you can also log in to your web mail okay so to log into web mail just click over here if you want to click here you can come over here and enter your login details and log in so let me try and go on and log in we'll see what will happen but before you do all that let me just show you some things you need to do okay so when you buy this name chip private email service if you bought domain name from name chip everything will be configured for you you won't need to do any dns settings but let's say you bought a domain name from another platform which is not private email how are we going to do that to make it work so this is what i'm going to tell you in a minute so all you need to do is go to google and search for private email mx records and click on the first link you're going to see uh 
okay so if you bought domain name from another platform all you need to do is log in and add these records so uh, log in and add these mx records the way they are exactly also you should add all this and lastly add this one when you're done with adding all these your private email service will start working and will start receiving emails so this is it about it so if you don't know how to add these records to your domain name uh just let, let me know by commenting with a platform where you bought the domain name and i will help you th with that for free okay so once you're done with all this you can come in and log into your private email okay after adding an account changing your password you can just come over here on private email and log in so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to log in right now okay i've typed out my password and my email address so i've now clicked on the login button i'm just waiting for it to load up so this is private email the web uh email service dashboard so this is how it looks like so as you can see uh this is the inbox so uh, this is the draft sent and spam okay the spam for this one really works nicely and i like it it does really do its job nicely okay so this is how the private email looks like so now i'm going to show you how you can uh connect your domain name to your gmail so that you can be able to send and receive emails using your gmail without having to log into this platform okay so to do all that simply just follow the steps i'm going to do So to do all that, to connect your Gmail with your domain name, all you need to do is come over here on this right corner over here and click on connect your device. Okay, so for this, uh, we're going to choose either Android or, or a PC. Okay, so you'll you need to copy out uh, the details over here and write them somewhere else okay so the server name is mail.privateemail.com the port is 993 username is keith at me. connection ssl tls smtp is private the same one and the port is 465 and the username is this one the password is the one you chose when you are editing your email account details so these are the details we need to connect to our domain name to our gmail so that you can be able to send and receive emails from there so let me just grab my phone and continue the recording from there